and good day. Today we're having a look at these propellers. They're for the Xiaomi Pimi A3. Now these are replacement propellers that I purchased. This is one of the original ones that came with the actual uh, quadcopter itself. Now what I thought I was purchasing are not originals. These are knockoffs. Now the plastic between the original and the knockoff there's a slight difference in color. Flexibility of the two, this is a softer plastic, these are a little bit firmer. These appear to be a fraction thicker, but not a lot. The main differences you'll find is when you go to balance them. The original ones are beautifully balanced. Um, you don't have any issues at all with them. In fact, I'll pop it on a uh, a balancer, a Dupro balancer, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, I was curious about the uh, the thickness of the plastic, so I thought I'd bring out the scales and weigh them. This is the one of the replacement propellers at seven grams. And this one is one of the original propellers, so five gram, two grams difference. So. My assumption of thicker plastic on the replacement ones is accurate. I've just propped the uh, original on the Dubro itself on the Dubawacky. We'll pop it in and uh, we'll just give it a bit of a tap. Now if they're balanced properly, the propeller should pretty well stop anywhere. And as you can see, they're not bad at all. In fact, they're excellent. Now I've picked up one of the clones, and that's it there. Pop it on, and again, we'll just give it a gentle tap, and we'll see where it stops. As you can see there, that is a massive swing. Look at that. So that's definitely showing you uh, we have a little bit of a problem here. It's the same with all the propellers. Every single one of them does exactly the same thing. So I'm going to have to balance them all out by putting a little bit of tape on. The... And I'll just put a little bit of glue across the, the hub here. Doesn't need a lot to start off with. And I'll uh, we'll see if that makes any difference. Nope, still got to add a bit more. And still a bit more. Well, that's looking good. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just pop that down again.
it's pretty well staying put wherever it stops which is excellent and there we go that um, propeller is now fully balanced I'll continue on the, with the others. first propeller that I put on the hub was out of balance this is a second one I put on and uh, as you can see one of the blades is well and truly out of balance so we'll have to add a bit of weight to this side so I just use a bit of ordinary adhesive tape tear a bit off put it on the leading edge that cuts into the wind otherwise you will finish up possibly blowing it off and as you can see we still need to add a bit more so I'll add a bit more on just about there it looks like just a little bit more very small amount so we'll pop a very tiny bit of tape up towards the end ah, sticking to my fingers ah. pop that on the blade isn't too bad but the hubs yep the hub is out on this one as well So it looks like I'm going to have to add a bit of weight on this side. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to add a little bit of weight on the hub on this one. So I'll do that again with the glue and I'll come back once I've got uh, this one balanced as well. And there we have it. Four Fimi A3 clone propellers, all nicely balanced and uh, I won't get jello on my videos. So for those people out there that are getting jello and you've got, uh, you know, not uh, original propellers, hmm, I think you know what you have to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.